let us start with the vocabulary related to food okay yeah. now very often what happens you know we tend to just repeat the same kind of food uh, every time we are saying that here you can get really good food here you can get you know average food 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 right <laughs> good evening jaya can you see and hear me clearly yes ma'am good evening okay great so uh, how are you jaya and how was your day Yes, ma'am. I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking, and my day is also going well. Okay, so today is Sunday. So, what did did you have any plans for the weekend? Ah, uh, no, I did not have any plans for the weekend. I mostly stay at home. Ah, uh, because I have a baby, so I need to take care of him. Like, um, okay. I need to play with him. Yeah, to be more specific. <laughs> Yes, and uh, I take actually two sessions today. So yes, my day was uh, pretty productive. Okay, I took two sessions, right? Because uh, oh, I said I take. Past okay. yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I know. At times, you know, we know it, but sometimes, you know, we just say the say the sentences without giving it much thought, right? So just try to think, frame your sentences. and then speak them out okay yes sir okay yes. so it's nice to know you must be enjoying with your kid <laughs> yes ma'am i'm really enjoying and he has started walking so he is okay. roaming all uh, around the house so it's really okay. fun to you know play with him now yeah i know <laughs> so this stage is also really fun and enjoyable yes so where are you based jaya I am from Kolkata, West Bengal. Okay, all right. So that's really nice. So tell me something about your city. How's Kolkata? You know, what are the places there to see? How about the food? And how about the, you know, accommodation, uh, like hotels and all. So how's that? How's Kolkata as a city? Okay, so Kolkata is known as the city of joy, and. Uh, okay. Uh, so there there are valid reasons for it uh, the food here is uh, is delicious uh, be it street okay. food or fine dining you can have uh, a lot of restaurants and the people say that uh, kolkata is actually for everyone like uh, okay. for low income to uh, middle income to higher income group kolkata has uh, has something to offer uh, to everybody so okay. uh, like you can have very cheap meal also and uh, you know uh, you can go to a fine dining you can go to a restaurant and have a uh, expensive food uh, i um, so like mostly the college goers prefer uh, to have cheap food and uh, other than that you can go to a restaurant and have fun uh, kolkata has its uh, a historical significance as well because kolkata was the uh, the capital of india uh, i think till 1977 i'm not sure about the year and then actually it shifted to delhi so it has a significance uh, we, we have different monuments and uh, various headquarters uh, those were headquarters at that time uh, not now Uh, so this is also one of the aspects of it um sweets here are uh, really famous rasgulla and mishti doi uh, many people know that uh, and uh, people here are actually very welcoming warm and uh, because it is also a fast paced city so i think uh, people like they are always doing something or the other uh, okay yeah they are always busy and when you go out uh, you can you can feel that thing okay. that everyone has their goal and ambitions in life and they are working really hard to achieve those things so yeah so that's a little bit about uh, my city okay and how's the weather is it really my hot God. like yeah <laughs> yeah it's really really hot it's so hot and humid so the temperature is so the average temperature is like 42 to 43 degrees and think that uh, but actually now uh, for the past few days um, it has been raining like on and off so the temperature now is uh, quite low 
okay. I think uh, 37, uh, 36, 37. So, so now the situation is pretty like uh, bearable, but okay. otherwise it's hot and humid. So you're okay. sweating all the time and yeah, it's just yeah. irritating. Yeah, I know. And I'm in Delhi. So uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can clearly imagine. Exactly. No need to say anything further. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like we are literally in the living in the oven. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So today uh, we were going out somewhere, and uh, you know, I told my husband, "Let's see, it is so hot. We can easily make the duri naan on the road. <laughs> you just face the door, you will have the naan ready." <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I swear, but it's nice to see that you, you know, you've got some rains over there, and the weather has become pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because actually, uh, actually, uh, in some parts uh, okay. of West Bengal and uh, the surrounding areas uh, was uh, actually hit by a thunderstorm. Oh, it's not thunderstorm. Uh, I'm not mm. getting it. So, uh, because okay. of that, actually, the uh, we we have we have been experiencing rain. Oh, okay. I think um, it, it it's um. Tornado or something? No, not even tornado. Not, yeah. uh, it's I similar to... I also read about that somewhere. Even I, no. I cannot recall. Uh, I read something in the news like that probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. uh, so now, uh, you know, um, I can see that you're pretty much fluent in English. So is there any specific goal that you want to achieve? Yes. Uh not goal uh, goal is to speak fluently and uh, okay. using a right vocabulary at the right time like okay. i'm not getting the word for the storm mm. so okay this should not be happen uh, for okay. longer yeah okay so um right uh, so let's work on vocabulary okay yes so one thing that you know let us start with the vocabulary related to food Okay. Yeah. Now, very often what happens, you know, we tend to just repeat the same kind of food. Uh, every time we are saying that here you can get really good food, here you can get, you know, average food, 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 right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and especially to describe their taste at times, you know, we fall short of words, right? So, um, let's start with that. So, yeah. one is uh, appetizer. Okay. Appetizers are the dishes or the food items that are served before the main course. Okay, mm -hmm. especially in the restaurants, if you go, right? So there is a separate list for appetizers, like, like some sort of snacks, okay, that you can order. And then you have your main course. Okay, main mm -hmm. course are your the, the dishes that form your main meal. Okay, so appetizer. And then followed by the main course. Okay. okay. To describe the smell of food. Can you tell me which word do you use? Yeah, aroma. Yes, correct. Aroma. Okay. Uh, all right. What do you, how would you describe food that is tasteless? Bland. Right. Correct. Okay. So why not use these? Okay. Uh, now, and then what would you uh, use, which word would you use to describe any particular style of cooking belonging to some country or some place, like a country or region cuisine. specific, yes, style of cooking, correct, cuisine, right? So you can say, now why not use these words, like, you know, um, Kolkata has, a, in Kolkata we get a variety of cuisines, okay, we get that in everywhere now, right, in every state, uh, then what do you call the food that the sweet food item that we eat at the end of the meal uh dessert yes correct so can you suggest me a place in kolkata which is re really famous for dessert yes there are two three uh famous places here in kolkata um one is uh some not recall i'm not getting the name actually it's uh, tell me any name and not going to check uh, it right Bheem, Nag, uh, shop and another one uh, so okay. these two are the famous one of the okay. famous uh, restaurants 
Okay, all right. Uh, so when you were talking about Misty Doi and Roshogulla, right? So you can you, you know you can say instead of saying uh, we get uh, very famous food items like Misty Doi and it, what what can you say? How can you change the sentence? Uh, so we uh, we have uh, different kind of desserts. Right. Like for example, no. Yes. Misty right? Doi and Chandes. Yes, so you already have that vocabulary. It is just that you are not using it. Right? So why to use every time food items, food items, food items? When you know already, you know oh, it's, uh, so many words. Okay. So whenever you start talking about one topic, try to use as many synonyms as possible. If you cannot think of synonyms, then try to frame your sentence in a different way. Okay. Right, so that breaks the monotony of the sentences. So instead of we, we get this here, we get that here. So it's uh, you know we I, uh, Kolkata is really famous for uh, its desserts. You know, there it, it has its own authentic desserts, like yeah. name of the name of one or two delicacies like that, or the word delicacies. So right? delicacies can be used for anything or only for desserts. Delicacies can be used for anything, any specific food item that, you know, you uh, get some on some particular occasions like that. Okay. So particular food items, right? Okay. Uh, now, when, you know, when we go further with our topic for the day, try to use as many synonyms as you can. I'm pretty sure you know it. Okay. So just think before saying out before talking about the topic or framing the sentences think of how you can replace the sentences how, how you can use synonyms or frame the sentence in a different way okay so we'll yes, work sir. on vocabulary right okay so now our today's topic is the role of science in our life okay do you agree with it do you think you know science has really changed our life and it, it, it is probably uh, improving it making it better every day Yes, absolutely. So science is uh, is everywhere. Uh, okay. And uh, till the day uh, our uh, ancestors have invented fire, to the okay. day we are now here, uh, science has evolved and it has helped people to evolve as well. Um, okay. We can lead a comfortable life. We have everything... Um, delivered at our doorstep so these are all uh, be the benefits of science only um, so i think science has become a part and parcel of our daily life without science i don't think we can uh, we can live uh, so yeah true i think uh, yes it has really made our lives really comfortable uh, now what do you think you know which is the most important scientific discovery till now according to you According to me, I think uh, the invention of cell phones, uh, okay. mobile phones, because okay. uh, uh, and then after mobile phone, it uh, it will be a digital world, the social media uh, era. So the invention of mobile phones actually uh, helped people to connect with each other, especially those who live in other cities or, or maybe out of the country. So uh, it is the biggest benefit I think uh, all the mankind could um, could ever have. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I think these two are the um, biggest. Okay, great, great, yeah. Uh, and what do you think is the most useless scientific discovery? <laughs> no, I don't think there is any uh, scientific discovery that is useless because we have many uh, things available, but not everything is useful for everyone. So if I am not using something, so that is uh, clearly not use. It has no use for me, but it cannot be useless for me. Right. So. And maybe, perhaps it is useful for others, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we are not using it, but some people, some other people are using it probably. They are yeah, for some other people, it. I think it's essential. So. Yes, could be. True. Very true. And uh, do you like the pace at which science and the world are evolving? 
Yes, I like the pace at which the world and science has evolving, but um, is evolve are evolving. The world but is think... evolving. Uh, no, no, wait. You're, if you are talking about both the science and techno science and the world, then are. Ah, if you are yes. referring to any one of them, then is. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I like the pace uh, at which the science and the world are evolving, but uh, that is much higher than like. the pace at which i am living my life so sometimes that you know, is faster I, to describe the pace the correct adjective is faster faster yeah so yes. Uh, so yes uh, it it is a good thing but there are a lot of discoveries happening every now and then and to keep track of them to know about them and to be able to use them in our lifestyle i think that is difficult because of the faster pace and uh, yeah and there are many things that i don't even know uh, exist in the world you know people sometimes sometimes tell uh, tell me that oh do you know the china is discovering this or maybe here is uh, they are working on this so when i hear about those things i feel like wow like we are where we are heading like yes. where i am i know i i know nothing like i have to read about this i have to know that so So yes, it, it's a good thing, obviously, but uh, uh, it's difficult for people to uh, keep track of. Yes, yes. But uh, do you think you know the way science and uh, the world are evolving? There could be some negative effects of that, especially if you think about science and the advancements that are being made. Do you think there are some? There could be some negative effects of that in the future. I think um, no advancement is. Uh, complete without its disadvantages and uh, so it's up to you what you want to imbibe in your life right so you have to be aware and uh, use anything and everything consciously to take the best out of it and to keep aside uh, the bad aspect but uh, if i talk about social media social media is a bane and a boon right yeah and so like uh, social media i think everything um, has uh, the same qualities so so we have actually many uh, examples uh, of uh, taking science in a negative way as well so true yes yeah true uh the and there could be of course there could be some possible disadvantages too because what i feel is i think you know uh, especially somehow uh when i think about humanoids now okay now we do have humanoids and we see them around for example in the news uh, there is one uh, news reader who's a humanoid somehow i feel that you know if we have too many humanoids around probably you know then the uh, i think it is going to uh, it will cause more uh, you know people becoming jobless for sure i think you know many people will not be getting enough jobs because of course if the robots are replacing humans right humans are still existing for <laughs> now their yes. population is <laughs> increasing so there might be some lack of jobs i think absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah. disadvantages in those terms right and especially now uh, one thing that surprised me was that now people are replacing humans with humanoids have you heard of that i got to hear Replacing about that humans. yes i mean you know and the, i found that really weird but could be true in some places in many places now people uh, especially those people who are alone they are they don't prefer they want to they don't want to go into a relationship with any human but they are preferring to keep a humanoid with them okay okay any thoughts on that have you heard of that No, I haven't heard of that. But uh, so, if they are feeling lonely and maybe they have a fear of uh, getting hurt if they uh, go into a relationship with uh, humans, so I think from that they prefer humanoid. But uh, humanoid uh, do not have feeling, uh, though the scientists are researching uh, how they could uh, like. input the feelings inside the human heart as well uh, but yeah i think uh, yeah, it's like it's their preference actually we 
should not say anything about uh, that because i don't think like that but if someone is uh, wanting that thing maybe he or she has a valid reason for it true true but then in a world where we already have so many humans <laughs> yeah no. or at the most you can have um, a pet as well yeah maybe <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so that was you know that was why i thought that i was thinking about that how can people replace or you know choose to live with a humanoid rather than you can obviously find you know there are so many humans around you can always find if you don't gel with one friend you can find another friend yeah so, maybe i think i think they expect uh, like humanoids to be smarter uh, to be the smartest and maybe they want to learn something from them and uh, use them in uh, in their daily uh, work so that would be easier for them to accomplish uh, any target so because of that right. maybe okay could be all right so now uh, you know time to uh, time to learn some new vocabulary okay now first word is enhance okay enhance means improve right correct okay so can you try to make a sentence with that enhance yes so reading books uh, will help you enhance your vocabulary yes very good at it uncertainty 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 so i have to make a sentence yes do you know the Uncer meaning yeah uncertainty means uh, that uh, something that is not sure yes or ignorance okay uncertainty oh. not being sure not being certain or not knowing anything okay okay yes Can you try to so, use it in your own sentence? Just give it a try. Um, there is a forecast of uh, of a thunderstorm tomorrow, but uh, there is an uncertainty to it. Yes, yes, uncertainty about it. About it. Okay. Yes. So there is doubt about it. We cannot be certain. Okay. or maybe uh, you know i think the the word that we were thinking of could be cyclone is it cyclone were you yeah, talking yes. about cyclone yeah yes yes cyclone yes okay all right yeah uh, next is concrete concrete means solid concrete means solid yes yes okay now can you try to use it in your own sentence mm uh so um you should have uh, a concrete knowledge about a particular subject and then only you can excel on it in it excel in it yes okay all right uh yeah fine next one anomaly anomaly means abnormal occurrence okay i think there you know, that's a lesser common word anomaly um yeah i know the word but i don't think i can abnormal yes abnormal occurrence so something do you think that you know occurs abnormally mm -hmm. so um uh, i was told that he is a nice guy but when i met him uh it seems there was there was an anomaly um not exactly okay somewhere yeah. you are you are getting it right okay so uh, anomaly is maybe you know a person or a thing that is different or unusual from others that is different from others something different something abnormal something peculiar okay so when i meant just let's just try to structure the sentence uh, in a better manner so when i met the uh, when i met him um i thought him to be i thought him to be uh, normal and perfect however there was some ab uh, anomaly about him there was some anomaly about it yes about him okay so something different or something unusual about him right yes. okay bias bias means taking one side over the other yes yes Hmm. I think we often use this. You know? I, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes children would say you're biased towards the other. Yes. 
when you have two kids, you'll get, get to listen to this word very often. You're biased towards him. You, you, you love him more than me. <laughs> so we can go like this. You should have, you should always have an unbiased opinion about everything. Yes, yes. Especially in relationship. <laughs> yeah, especially when especially you have <laughs> but then that was unbiased so try to use bias okay bias oh. I think the um, taking one side over the other I think the judgment uh, mm -hmm. was bias right but complete the sentence yeah <laughs> finish it <laughs> off <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the judgment, yes. um, the judgment of the uh, of the case huh? uh, was biased. Okay, all right, still better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, uh, Jaya, I think you know. Uh, yes, one point we just need to work on vocabulary. Okay, so what you know how you can work about is one interesting way could be try to find vocabulary relating to particular topics. That makes okay. it interesting. That makes learning vocabulary interesting. For example, like, like you know, we talked about vocabulary related to food. Okay. Now, when you get up, when you were getting stuck up with the word cyclone, okay, to describe what is happening and because of which the rains are happening, there is a very interesting a whole lot of vocabulary around rain. Okay. Sometimes mm -hmm. we say drizzle. Sometimes we say downpour. Okay. Sometimes we yeah. say heavy showers. Okay, and when it goes extreme, floods, right? Mm -hmm. So try to uh, look for vocabulary around a particular topic that will make it uh, interesting for you. Also, it will help you in when you're talking about one particular topic, you will have some ready synonyms with you. Okay, yes. and there will be a lesser repetition of words. So at least to begin with, start off with some common topics. Okay, like food is very common topic. You and we, uh, every time, most of the time, we are using food, food items, food, food items, right? Mm -hmm. Try to replace those words to start with. Then you can talk about weather for describing the weather. We always say it's hot, it's cold, it's cooler, it's hotter. Okay, so mm -hmm. instead, try to look for interesting vocabulary uh, around it. Okay, like it's blistering hot, or it's you know, uh, it's the uh, the sun, the sun was at its peak at its peak today. Mm -hmm. okay. Or yeah. um, you know to describe the weather being so we can say the weather is pleasant. Okay, it has become a little bit cooler. The temperature has come down. Right. Yes. Yeah. Or the mercury is really uh, rising up today. So try to look for different words and phrases around one particular topic, and it, that will make it more interesting and fun for you okay otherwise yeah. the usual way is always that you know you read more books then mm -hmm. to enhance your vocabulary that is always there of course learning uh, listening to uh, some english podcasts watching english videos that improves a lot of that will help you in learning expressions okay if you if you watch some videos in english if you watch try to watch some web series and all Okay, then from there you will get to learn some expressions that you can use readily. Expressions, yeah. collocations, idioms to improve your vocabulary. Okay. Yeah, All right. So yeah, it was nice talking to you, Jaya. I really had a fun and engaging session with you. <laughs> it was really so amazing well. to Same, listen yeah. to your ideas. You really have amazing ideas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you again, Jaya. So that, you know, yes, we can work on vocabulary and mm -hmm. if I get to meet a chance with you again, I'm definitely going to look for more interesting word list and I'll share with you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We'll Thank work you. on that, definitely. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. That would be great. Yeah, definitely. Bye-bye. Have a good day.